the classic image of a witch riding through the night on her broomstick like a bunch of black rags blown in a gale. Okay, that's what we're going to try and do. So we start off with the head leaning forward. This figure is going to be kind of hunched up, you know, so there's the head, neck at that angle there. The body, the top part of the body coming along at an angle like that, down to the waist, okay. The hip area coming forward again like that and the legs coming out from the hips down to the knees and quickly down to the ankles and the feet. The other one will come around another side to appear about there somewhere, okay? And the arms, again, hunched up at the shoulders, so the shoulders are quite high, down to the elbow then, they're leaning forward to the wrist and the hand, which of course clutching the broomstick. Okay, so there, now the hand comes in about there. The broomstick comes in about there. Okay. Very, very roughly. There's the there's the kind of shape we're looking for. Okay. So we're starting to put it in the character now. Um, uh, the classic witch has, you know, quite a sharp profile, you know, so you get this uh, kind of sharp nose and the uh, the wide open mouth cackling away, okay, with their teeth in there, and uh, uh, up sloping eyes is looking like that, okay, and uh, the hat, pointed hat, would cover that part of her head there, the broom coming up, and can go that kind of shape, and the top of it going up and being blown back as she's rushing forward through the night like that. Okay, now the next thing about the, the witch, you know, they have long hair, so you have this kind of idea of her hair all streaming out behind her, like that. Okay, like that. Excellent. Okay, right, uh, the next thing, her arms coming down here. Now what we're going to try and do is uh, keep this image of the rags in the wind. So instead of drawing a kind of straight line coming down here, kind of break it up and then try and put some lines in like that as if uh, her costume is made up of black rags and they're streaming out behind her like that. That also gives a sense of movement to your character. Okay, and uh, her fist coming down round that part of the broomstick. Another and come in here. This time you will see her thumb clutching over the broomstick and her finger, bony fingers coming up like that. Okay. The broomstick can come in up there. And um, this part of her body, again, try and use lines to suggest the rags. Okay. As you bring this line round here, break it up, you know, and then imagine there are wrinkles and bits of rag hanging off that part of a costume there, okay, like a cloak. And as it comes around the front, do exactly the same. You know, bring these lines coming out, streaming out behind her like that. You'll see her ankle appearing, and then her boot would be something like that shape there. Slight curve up at the toe, okay, now then coming in about there. There, yeah, like that. Maybe even a stripe or two coming around. There, now you finish off by adding on the rest of the broomstick. Just imagine these lines coming through here. And the part, you know, the broomstick, all the bristles coming up and tied. That kind of shape for the tying of the broomstick there. And then when you're doing the broomstick, do kind of straight lines like that to get the shape first of all, and then start to kind of mess about a bit, move them so they're not all straight. Some of them are coming down behind there, give you a more kind of complex look. You see? Another one coming up behind there. Like that. Okay, so then we have our classic witch shape rushing through the night up to no good. 
<laughs> okay, so we can join me in the rest of my series where we'll be showing you lots more great characters. In the meantime, all the best and happy drawing!